Okay, folks, I am in the van. Now, you're probably noticing I got some really weird looking glasses on. What happened is I lost my, I lost my good glasses, my good frame glasses. These are actually the new ones that I was supposed to have had a while back. And the dogs got hold of the metal frames and chewed them up. So I'm gonna try driving because I don't have my phone mount in this thing. It's still in my truck, so. Uh, let me go forward here and let this guy back out because he's I gotta get used to this van but uh, uh, there we go alright wow features But anyways, guys, so I've got, they couldn't, because the these are aviator, these were aviator framed glasses, but I had them made kind of small because I didn't like the great big giant ones. Well, I came over here to iMart Express. Now, let me say this about iMart Express. They have a lot of frames and they have really helpful people. Now, I had these, I had this, this prescription filled at the VA hospital. Okay. And uh, you're wondering, I've just got this sitting on my dash here, and I don't know if it's going to stay there. So if occasionally it goes face forward, you'll know that's what it is. But I want to try to get this filmed. So anyways, she, the dogs had chewed off the nose pads on the inside of the, uh, these are the butt ugliest glasses I've ever wore. I mean, they really are. But problem was is because I had them made kind of small the uh, in the teardrop shape uh, aviator frames they didn't have any aviator frames that size now I had these film I had these made or had the, these lenses in the frame from the VA hospital now I'm art works with the VA all the time they're really good at taking care of the veterans and I appreciate that but they, so I went in there and I said, can you put new nose pads on them? Well, in the process of trying to straighten it up, she broke off. The, the pieces broke off in her hand. She says, it broke in my hand, so it's my responsibility. So as a result, she says, I'll give you new frames. Well, okay. I didn't feel right about it. I said, I surely I owe you something. She said, no, no. They broke in my hand. And I said, okay. So then we went on the frame hunt. Well, Turns out I got a particularly small size. So the best they could do was come up with uh, a pair of plastic frames that they could readjust, which they did. They adjusted them and uh, this is them. <laughs> I said, what kind do you want? I should have gone with black, but I said, ah, oh, that kind of like that. Color. And they were snazzy looking frames, but now these are custom made aviator style plastic uh, birth control glasses. Those of you guys in the military know what the birth control glasses are. So, I'm going to try and do this without losing my phone. And it seems to be sitting there okay. That's not where I want to keep it, but that's where it's working. Uh, I will say this much. The uh, the light for... Uh, the, the light that says... Uh, uh, check engine light is off. I picked this up from the... Uh, I'm out $1,700, but it is running good. It's still dry. It's you know, I still need the brakes fixed, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, and I I got kind of a shimmy in the front end, but that's related to the tires because they're low, and I need to just fill them up. And when I get home, I'll drag out the uh, compressor and I'll fill all my tires. And uh, but. That, and that will take care of that. I'll just make sure I, I get them filled. Uh, but anyway, so I've got 
And the reason I'm even wearing these is because of the fact that when I went to sleep last night, I was tossing and turning and apparently snoring and causing all sorts of problems. And uh, I was keeping Judy awake. And so, anyways, I took my glasses off because I was watching TV. I took them off and I thought I laid them on my nightstand. And apparently I laid them there and they've either fallen down or something. So I had to grab the extra pair. Well, I could I thought, well, while I'm out, I'm just going to get these fixed. And then she broke them, long story short, like I said. Uh... But hey, I've done five minutes here on this phone, and uh, it looks pretty good. So anyways, you guys are getting to see me uh, driving in the van. Yeah, it's still a little bouncy. It's not perfect, but it's getting there, okay? So a uh, little more maintenance, and I'll be good to go. But uh, it is running fine. I trust the engine. I trust the front end now. Uh, I need to... Uh, air up the tires. I may need to buy new tires. I mean, that may be what it comes down to is I just need to buy some new tires. Because uh, last time I had, I had a shimmy like this in the front end of the truck and it turned out I had bad tires, you know. So, I will probably, I've got the money saved. I still have my Hey guys, this is the ending to the one that will go up, uh, I think Thursday of this week. I got cut off by a robocaller. Uh, the next video, we'll talk about that. I've got to go. But just remember, be nice to everybody. Uh, don't make fun of the guy with the weird glasses, okay? He can't help it. <laughs> the van's working. We're good to go. All right? I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out of here. Bye-bye for now. I'm the Grumpy Vlogger. Be nice, okay? Bye-bye for now. And don't forget to subscribe or check out what's up here. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, check out what's over here, and what's over here. You be nice to everybody, okay? I'm the Grumpy Vlogger. I'm out of here. Bye-bye for now.